Oh, what's going on, man? First off, dude, just introduce yourself. What's up, y'all, man? My name is Kay Levy. Well, my name is Killer Levy. Uh, stage name Kay Levy. Uh, we right here in my hometown, man, Vashon, Louisiana. Uh, I'm a hip hop artist, uh, actor, also motivational speaker. You know what I mean? I'm out here with my homie. You know what I'm saying? Young Knowledge. We out here. Yeah. All right, man. You know, you're, you're, you're a hip hop artist. You say, uh, we don't get into that, but. I want to start. You said you were acting, man. Tell, tell me, uh, first off, what got you into uh, acting? Mm -hmm. And second off, what have you acted in? Uh, so, it's crazy, bro. One of my uh, <laughs> one of my old teachers, he hit me up. He was like, yo, I need your help. So I'm like, I'm thinking he want me to come rap to his students or something. You know what I mean? And he was like, oh, nah. You know, it's Black History Month. We're doing this thing at the library called Crazy About History. You got to portray a figure in black history. So I was like, uh, all right, cool. <laughs> so I got the little script or whatever. Uh, I portrayed Lewis Howard Latimer. If you don't know him, look him up. Lewis Howard Latimer. He did a lot, by the way. Uh, so I just had to, you know, uh, get the script, read it, dress kind of like him. And I just portrayed him as I told his story. And from that, uh, a director in the area picked me up and, and put me in her play. So I did a couple from that. I did a couple of uh, stage plays. Uh, one was called If College Walls Could Talk. We did it back at Nickel State University in Timberdale, Louisiana. Uh, and then we went up to Grambling State University. Uh, so I did that. And from that, I kind of I enjoyed it, man. And, and I, I kind of gained confidence in my acting skills. And from that, I ended up hearing about a play in my parish, uh, in St. James Parish. And I auditioned for it. And I used my, uh, my kind of like my monologue from the Lewis Howard Latimer portrayal. Uh, from that, I ended up getting a role in a play called uh, Lord, If I Can Help Somebody, a gospel stage play. Uh, did that for about a year and a half. And then just recently with that same production company, shout out to c Lot Productions. Oh, shout out to Mr. Cool. Vine, man. Miss Andrea. We out here, man. Else. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, and then like... Just, just based off of like my loyalty and my, I guess you would say my growing skills and my growing confidence and their confidence in me, I was able to land a leading role in a stage play called If It Had Not Been For The Lord, and then If It Had Not Been For The Lord, the sequel. So uh, I'm going to keep pursuing it, man. I, I ended up, you know, enjoying it. So I'm going to keep rocking with it, you know. All right, cool, cool. So you, you're, you're. Would you say you're more of a, a, a gospel artist, my man, or you more of a motivational artist? Man, I told, I did an uh, a interview with, with a priest, man. Shout out to Father Joshua Johnson. <laughs> if you live in the Baton Rouge area, they call him the rapping priest. <laughs> but I did an interview with Father Joshua Johnson, and, and he asked me that same question. He was like, um, when did you decide to start rapping about God? And it's crazy because I never really sat down and was like, I right, yo, I'm going to rap about God. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just... Uh, I just always rapped about what was inside of me. So, like, my first rap that I ever wrote was about basketball, football, and WWF wrestling. <laughs> like, that was the first rap I How old was when you made that, man? Man, I was six. Oh, dude. Na so the man. name of the song was St. James Soldier. <laughs> and my homie, uh, Joe, man. So, uh... So yeah, I just always rap what, what was inside of me, dog. And as I as I grew older, you know, I got more in tune with my faith and, and just everything that was going on around me. So that's I mean, if you listen to my music, www.kleavenmusic.com. Oh, make know? sure you go check it out. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, all on YouTube, you know, uh, K Levy Movement is my channel. But uh, I mean, I. Uh, I mean, I, I'm at a point now, I used to get mad when people call me a gospel artist or a Christian artist, but I'm at a point I don't even care anymore because regardless, I'm going to put out what I want to put out regardless. So it's like, one song you might hear I'm talking about, you know, what's going on in, in, in the church, or uh, how I'm feeling about my faith at the moment, if it's at a point where I was shaky or 
Oh, uh, I didn't believe things were going right. And the next song, I might just be talking about a girl who made me mad. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's, it's really just my life. But overall, man, I'm, a, I'm just a positive person. I'm trying to motivate the next generation to be legendary. L's up. So uh, for the most part, man, it's just it's just my real life. And, and my real life uh, is focused a lot around my faith. So that's how I'm rocking, bro. Cool, cool, man. I, I, I'm feeling this right now. I got another one for you, man. We're we going we gonna to get you some fans. People probably going to hate you for this next one, dude. Oh. You ready for it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. As a hip hop artist, you know what I mean. Me personally, I love hip hop. I love poetry. I love hip hop because it, it gives a certain energy, my man. When you when you giving your like you say your realness and your your genuine character yeah. to the stage and the people, they can feel that. And you know they take that home with them. So, what problems do you have with hip hop now? <laughs> Man, you can be specific as you want to, or vague. Yeah. I, like, what's what, what's your problems with hip hop? Man, here's my thing, bro. And and I've changed over the last few years. I used to be that dude who, anytime a song drops, because I don't, I mean, I don't really listen to the radio. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I do know I'm I'm aware of what's going on right now in hip hop. Uh, but I used to be just that salty. Just mad dude, right? Because it was like every time I hear a song, I'm like, man, that dude wait. I'm better than him. I rap better than him. But I, I mean, I guess now um, I understand why there needs to be a balance. So why there needs to be that party music, the mumble rap, I call it. Yeah. Uh, however, I think it's pushed to the forefront too much. Uh, I do think hip hop needs balance. I don't think it's balanced right now. Okay. Now I do think. Um, there, there's a lot of good rappers out there. The name, problem, name me a few of your good ones, you think? Oh uh, man, I mean, obviously you had the top dog. You know what I mean? Uh, as far as lyricism, you got your J. Cole's, you got your Kendrick's, you got your Wale's. Uh, if you dig a little deeper, you know, of course you got Big Crit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm always, I've always been a huge fan of Lupe Fiasco. Okay. Uh, but then, uh, you know, coming up, well, I wouldn't even say coming up. I'm always here now. You got your Vic Mensa, you got your Chance the Rappers, you got your Joy Badass. Uh, who else I'm listening to right now, man? And, and even if you want to go to the gospel side of it, you got your Lecrae's, you got your D1's, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, I heard of the and, and the thing is, bro, <clears throat> for a casual hip-hop fan who just gets in the car, I know a lot of people who just casual hip-hop fan. They get in the car, they turn the radio on. For them, the state of hip hop is messed up. Yeah. Because all they hear is the the turn up. Music. Right. All they hear is the turn up music. But I think truly hip hop is really in a good state. But radio is in a, in a good state. Uh, you know what I mean? That's because I never heard nobody say that before. There's so many good rappers out there. I think me personally, we have access to way many. Jeez. <laughs> way more. <laughs> we have access to way more good rappers or good, you know, musicians in general than we did 10 years ago. Yeah. But they're not pushed to the forefront. Even like your Chance the Rapper. Chance the Rapper is like on top of his game right now. Yeah. I think he just got one song on the radio, that song with Two Chains and Lil Wayne. Yeah, of, of course. So, you know how that go. So, uh, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a disadvantage for the casual hip hop fans who only get in the car and turn on Q93 or 94.1 yeah. because that's all they're going to play. Now, one thing I always talk about also, uh, I talk to a lot, I, you know, I do a lot of shows and stuff, and I'm always talking to fans and stuff like that, and they always like, oh man, bro, we got to get you out there, your type of music, we got to bring the real back. Nah, this is why I kind of have a problem, because I don't think these dudes who run in the record labels care about the actual music that's being played. Oh, yeah. I don't really think that. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think they care about what's making money, mm -hmm. right? So if uh, the turn up music and all the other mumble rap mm -hmm. is what's providing dollars, that's what's going to be promoted. Yeah. So if I talk, if every person I talk to says, "Oh man, yeah, we got to bring the real back," but they're not supporting the real, how we ever gonna bring the real back? True. It's easy to say I support you, but are you gonna buy Young Knowledge tea? Are you gonna buy the can't leave the tea? Are you gonna buy the can't leave the CD when it drop? I'm coming slow. Oh yeah, hey. I'm coming I gotta slow. be first in line. I right. man, you already know. And I'm willing right. to pay. I don't want no handouts. It's no all hand love, man. <laughs> so like, it's easy to say I support you. I hear that all the time. True. I support you. So I gotta go to work after this. Not saying I don't want work, 
But, I mean, with the amount of shows I have, the amount of people who say they support me, I'm not going to say I shouldn't have to go to work, but I shouldn't have to be working 45, 50 hours. True, true. And yeah. they're still trying to provide content in order to be able to, you know what I'm saying, put out for my fans. So, I feel like... Uh, I feel like fans gotta step up. If you if you a real hip hop fan, you gotta support your artists and support the people you rocking with. More because that's the only way the real will get pushed back to the forefront. So that's why I'm mad on hip hop. I'm not. I don't have a problem with hip hop. I just have a problem with being with what's being pushed to the forefront, and it's 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 dominated. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. Uh, so this will this will be my next question, man. If how do you think, you know, you, you spoke on it just now as in, you know, you know, fans should step up with actually providing the dollars more instead of just the words, because I can understand that, you know, words give support, but at the end of the day, those dollars get you what you need. What do you think real artists, I would call you real art, like people who are genuine, who rap for the past, who rap for the creativity, what's a, what's a way that if y'all were to get together, how would y'all bring, you know, Real hip hop back to the forefront and push your mumble rappers, which I would I would agree with the name, your mumble rappers back into just the clubs. How will you get real artists to sell out Madison Square Garden and the gold, you know, and be major? I think, man. I think we just gotta make real cool again. You know what I mean? Like, if you elaborate, make cool again. Elaborate, elaborate on that for me, real. Well, it's like. like it's like, man, like, when I listen to these certain artists, like, I'm with, like, Cole, you know what mm-hmm. I mean, Kendrick, especially, like, Big Crick. Big Crick, you know, he's from the South, he's from Mississippi. Yeah, right next door. <laughs> right next door. Like, man, I really relate, you know what I mean? And these these artists, and even Wale, I don't understand why Wale gets so much flag and so much hate. Yeah. I, I really like Wale. Uh, because these artists are not afraid to show emotion. And if you are on social media today, it's like, it's not cool to show emotion. You know what I mean? Ah. It's, it's, it's not cool to feel a certain type of way. Everything is no feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, they're forced to, I guess you would say, numb their emotions in order to please the outside world. And that's not being quote-unquote real because you're not being real with yourself. So... Uh, I feel like I've come a long way with that too because I was at a point, you know, when I was younger coming up in high school, I mean, I was kind of sheltering myself and not allowing my full self to, to be expressed to the world. Now, I, I, want, I want you to remember what you were saying because mm-hmm. you said high school. How, in, first of all, real quick question, can you give a good performance with no feelings? No. So you, you, there's no way you come on stage and be all cool and all swaggy, quote unquote, give no feeling to give a good performance. You don't think that's possible? I mean, you can be cool, but some, you gotta show some kind of emotion. Even if that coolness is your emotion, you know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg is a perfect example. Snoop just a cool dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, but is, is, is that the real person? We've seen Snoop carry that person on since he's been in the game. He's yeah. still that cool dude. That's him though. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you gotta be you. And then he still give energy when he do it through. He still do a little right. jumping around right. here and that, you know? Cool you know nah, nah. How important is that, you know, man, when you do a performance in high school where you literally, in my opinion, I think you get more criticism mm-hmm. trying to be great in high school and, instead of, I might be wrong, but I feel that's where you get the most when you get here with rocks the most in high school, you try to be great. You know how? How would you think bringing feelings to the game and your performances in high school? Like how how important is that? You know how detrimental is that? Right? Um, for me, bro, uh, I can't speak for everybody, but like for me, and we talked about how I come up in a small community and and things just it's a tad bit different out here. Yeah, you know what I mean. So people respected me for that because yeah, I was in high school for. Uh, 2009 to 2013. So I'm really kind of still fresh out. You yeah. know what I mean? But people respected my emotion. And, and you got to think about what hip hop was at the time, too. And 2009 was when like I first got on the scene like at my high school. People was like, they knew I could rap, but that's when I first started like performing and stuff at yeah. school and in the area. You got to think about who was coming out at the time. Drake was coming out at the time. Uh, Cole was coming out really at the time. Yeah. Wale was coming out at the time. Before that, think about the era before that. From 2006 to 2009, that was Three the dance. Six, my that was, yeah, it was like, Soldier Boys and all, all that. that. Right. Yeah. So, 
emotion was being brought back into the game. You know what I mean? You got all these rappers who coming out and really pouring their feelings out. You got Drake singing, you know yeah. what I'm saying, about his emotions and stuff. So for me personally, bro, I was I was respected for that. You know what I mean? So and I think I carried a lot of that momentum into my career now because now people know I'm that dude who can bring my emotions and, and give them to you. You know what I mean? So shoot you. Definitely, definitely. Um Man, isn't if you going so good, man? Like, damn, I'm, I'm feeling this right yeah, now. Um, I, I, I wanna, I really just wanna to to say, man, how how important it is as a young man. You not you, you 21, right? Mm -hmm. Man, so you, you like you said, you fresh. I'm at 21 years old. Do what? What was the most difficult thing you had? You've come across as a young man trying to be a rapper. And what, as a young man becoming, or I'm not gonna say trying to be, because right. you, you're you're pretty established in, in, in this area, man. So right. I'm not gonna say trying to be a rapper. How? What was the hardest you have, you had to overcome? Like your greatest obstacle, internally, externally, don't matter. For me, yeah, it was internal, uh, especially because of where I'm from. You know what I mean? And what I'm trying to do, and the way I'm trying to do it. Yeah. I'm from Bashry. Mm -hmm. Most of you who watch this probably never heard of Bashry. <laughs> it's a small town in between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Uh, so it's, it's, the population is like 5,000 total or yeah. something like that. Uh, so I'm from a very small area. I'm trying to rap, right? And I'm, I guess you would say I'm a positive rapper. I don't curse. I don't talk about all the foolishness, you know yeah. what I mean? So internally, man, it was hard for me to overcome a lot of things inside of myself because you know that people are looking at you like, oh, he different. And a lot of times different is not good in the mind of some people. They want the same thing sometimes. Mm -hmm. So uh, the hardest thing for me, like within my teenage years was being able to find my identity and being able to stick with it and not wanting to venture off into other things just to try to be known and then try to hurry up and switch back to the other side. So many people have told me, yo, you need to make a song like this. You need to make a dance song a uh, club song so people could know who you are and then then they go hear your other stuff and i'm like me i'm like nah i'm straight because i don't want me that because if they introduce to that person uh, then they might not like the other person the real me they're going to so expect that to same that. foolishness exactly yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm trying to build uh and I'm, I'm i can say honestly i'm at a point now where i'm fully comfortable uh internally i'm not going through that anymore i've had enough uh, small successes that has gave me the confidence and the confirmation that I can do whatever I want to be and still be relevant and still be great and still be legendary, you know what I mean? So I'm at a point now where I'm straight. So I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing, build my fan base genuinely because a lot of, it's crazy, bro. A lot of people, they rock with me before they even hear my music. It's like, just a casual count. I know when me and you first met, yeah. it was like, we was cool first and you had rock with me and then you was like, hey, let me hear something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then I let you hear that outcast and you was like, I rock with you. Hey, I'm you know glad you saying? said that, man. Man, tell me about that time, when, when, the first man when I had you drop a song when you said you rap, man. What, you remember what, remember what I, I said about? I remember. No, no. Man, let me, let me tell you how it happened. Let me tell you why I have so much respect for this dude, man. Why I really will go out of my way. Literally, I'm... For y'all who do know me, man, y'all know I'm lazy. I'm not finna do nothing for no reason, bro. So when I show love, you you could you know it's genuine coming from the heart. I really rock this man, dude. I'm very hard on music, like just like I'm very critical. You come at me with the, you know, I I, I like it. I'll listen to a a a, a, a Soldier Boy song or a dance song or a mumble rap. I will, but as in you know, putting that in my car, having a whole CD, mm -hmm. as you put my dollar support, I don't because like oh I heard it, but I respect real artists. So literally the story when I met this dude, man, I was in there because a partner of mine, he worked with a partner of mine, linked up with him, you know, talked to whatever. I think he was talking about a, a, a rapper, an artist or something. And I, said, I said, man, that dude, cool, but this what a good rapper would be. And my boy said, hey, my man over there, Kid Levy rap. Mm -hmm. So me, I'm like, all right, in my mind, as usual, you know, not judging him. I'm like, okay, another person who can rap, you know, everybody want to be a rapper, you know. If, it's like a black entitlement. You have to rap and play basketball. So I'm like, okay, this is another dude that can rap. And so I asked him, I said, man, you rap? And he just said, yeah, man, you know, I do a little rapping. So I said, man, shit, you can rap, man. Throw some bars up. Yeah. You know, I appreciate just throw me a song. And that's what I do when people hand out mixtapes. You know, that's that's me. I can tell that if you genuine, 
You passing my mixtapes in Walmart, you gonna have bars on deck. Right, you gonna be ready to spit. I got it right now. So, hey, I told this man, that man, spit something for me, dog. And he spit a verse. I'm like, oh, shit. Number one, he spit a verse literally within five seconds of me asking. He didn't have to go dig it for He had to go pull out no notebook or nothing. He just had one on deck. I'm like, damn. Then he played me the song when he do with over Outcast. I'm like, this is really dope. Like, I really will put this in my car. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's how I gained respect to that. But I saw, I saw you pull out the phone real quick, man. You you about to drop something? Bro? Oh, I was looking at a tape, but I mean, oh, 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 man. hey, you you want you want to give us something? I mean, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> As the days count down consistently, I break them all down individually. Considering the fact that I'm specifically, desperately trying, miserably, rather to find spiritually, mentally tied to physically. All the criticism that they try to give me critically, there's no possibility to succeed scientifically, but now I see it differently. Wonder how it's fitting me, trying to figure these mixtures of pictures my vision's giving me. They told me lyrically I never had abilities to hold responsibilities and demonstrate them visibly. Curious to figure out how I'm missing, it's killing me. Some of them say they're hearing me, but no one's really feeling me. Character. I showed him my resiliency Along with willingly maintaining my tranquility But not only do I take it on as a gift to me I execute my mission with efficiency Goddamn sauce <laughs> You can't have the spaghetti without the sauce Dude, uh, we could we could really do this all day, bro, because you know there's so much positivity that's, that 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 need to be put out there, man. We not gonna give it all to y'all in one in one record, man. We at 20 minutes right now, bro. I can't I can't it's let y'all have. Actually. But you know what, bro? When it's, it's real, real it, it, it feel natural. That's you know what I'm saying. saying? I feel like we've been out here, man. Like, let me tell you, dude, I, I drove like 40 miles out here, son, just for the interview with my partner, son. I ain't mm. getting paid for nothing, like, and I'm happy I came out here. Like, I'm like, bro. I'm happy we got this, man. So, um. You know, just really, man, we want to definitely do some more, dude. But as right now, all I feel like all y'all deserve right now is just that 20. You feel right now, y'all can't have it all right now, man. Right now, man. You feel me? So maybe when the, when the tape drop, you know. Oh, uh, we got to do a real documentary behind the scenes, we'll man. More. You know, we'll do some more, man. all that, man. So, so one last time, leave it, man. Tell them about the brand one more time that man. you repping and what it means. Yo, man, K Leaving Music, Mission Legendary, bro. Mission. Legendary. What does that stand for? That means, for? bro, I'm not trying to be good. Good ain't good enough no more. I'm trying to be legendary, bro. And not only am I trying to be legendary, I'm trying to inspire each and every one of you to be legendary in whatever you're doing, man. Don't stop, bro. I'm from a small town, 5,000 people, bro. And, and I'm doing some things. I, I mean, I, I'm not going to say I never thought I would do because I always thought I was doing, man. I just went to the White House, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so oh, that's what's up. President Obama, President Obama, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not just Obama, shout out to President Obama, man. I just came from the White House through my foundation, the K. Levy Foundation. Also, K. Levy is my stage name because it's my first initial and my last name. However, I have an acronym for my stage name, which I uh, shifted to my foundation, which is Knowledgeable Leaders Evolving as Victorious Youth. Hit him with it again, man. One more knowledgeable time. Knowledgeable Leaders Evolving as Victorious Youth. Lean your hat down so you can see them letters. Not, I don't know which way it is. Knowledgeable okay. leaders evolving as victorious youth. You see, that's greatness right there, you know man. <laughs> uh, we're trying to inspire the next generation and show the next generation that they have an opportunity. Especially in 2016, you have all the resources around you to choose what you want to do and, and go for it, man. Full speed ahead. So, ain't no settling around here, man. We ain't got no excuses. I don't care where I'm from, what I'm trying to do, we gonna do it and we gonna make it happen, man. L's up, Mission Legendary, you know? Uh, Shout out KLeaveMusic.com, bro. Man, and follow me Instagram. Uh, go, Instagram. on Instagram and Twitter, at KLeaveMusic. You know, you see it right here. Uh, and Facebook is the same thing, KLeaveMusic. So, yeah. We're gonna have all that description for y'all just in case you, you didn't know. catch up. You ain't gotta worry about replaying it. We're gonna have all that written for y'all. Links everything, man. Yeah, shout out to Young Knowledge, man. Oh, y'all gonna see me at shows with the Knowledge gear, man. You know oh man, saying? you I'm know what it is. You you gonna see me a couple times with with the K Levy stuff on, man. Because we support each other, we support greatness, man. Yeah, like, like I said, we gonna be out on that one, man. We gonna make sure the video is spiffy, and I gotta make sure that y'all do know this. Not scripted. We don't have no. We don't start over and replay again. If y'all do see a little editing, that because you know maybe a, blur, a bird tried to attack me or something. You know, all we got is being silly. You know what I mean? Batteries on. You know, we, we still getting great at it, you know, but this is authentic, man. It comes from the heart because, like I say, that energy you give, bro, it really makes other people great. And it can go through phone calls, videos, and all that, man. So that's why y'all want y'all to understand this is genuine. This ain't script. This ain't to look cool. This is off the dome. You feel me? But definitely, dude, uh, 
Can't wait for this link to go up, man. I'll put the link on there, man. It's gonna be on K Levy page. It's gonna be on the Young Knowledge page. You know what I mean? We got Facebook, Instagrams, all that. Um, we we gonna get this to y'all. We gonna make sure that we gonna flood. We gonna go viral with genu with genuineness. We gonna go viral with real hip hop. We gonna go viral with you know respecting yourself and showing love to each other. We gonna go viral with. with the non ignorance, man. Yeah. So if you hate these, if you hate this video, don't block it because you're gonna see it on somebody else's page. And you hate it, share it. You f hey, you, you know. talk about how trash it is. Talk <laughs> about how fake Young Nada the K Lee B is. If you don't like it, man, get us out there. So that way, we eventually gonna make you love us. You feel yeah, me? Mediocrity is not accepted, man. Ever. We are out. L's up. Ever. Young Knowledge Rebel. Uh. Trust can't adjust this life, it's new to us. I swear I got a lot on my mind. Hope that I ain't going out of my mind.